one thing that I always found fascinating that I couldn't really quite get a grip on until the building started coming up was how these lobbies were going to work and how they were going to feel like one space even though they're so broken up. You may not feel the continuity of one space, but you do feel the continuity of being in the lobby because of the openness. There's a constant overseeing. You're constantly, you know, on the second floor being able to look down or you can look from this balcony over across to that balcony. There's always this people seeing people thing going on that's very interesting. The hall itself is special to the point that it truly is the most important space. Everything had to fit around it, and the lobbies almost seemed residual, but that's not how they feel, and that's not how we designed them to be. We designed them to feel as maybe one or two spaces that are very grand, that you can see from one end to the other, that you can, it's very, very open. The angels on the building, they are human figures. And people's perception of human figures, whether they're this big on your cell phone or they're 48 feet tall, we immediately adjust it to our scale. We understand human figures. That did something to put the building in a scale that was just magical. A lot of the newspaper thought I was a very religious man when we put the angels up. The angels really don't have a religious basis. They're based in Greek philosophy. There is a platonic dialogue in which um, Socrates has a discussion as to whether art is a production of man or something that is inspired by the gods. They conclude at the end that art does not come from man but is delivered um, to men from the gods by something called the angelos. And what angelos means is messenger of the gods. And one of the angelos' major jobs in life was to bring divine inspiration to the common man. So the purpose of the angels is to go back to Greek mythology and talk about the fact that the gods have delivered to us the performing arts and art to men. So that is the actual story behind the angels.